All right, so you want to know how to make a chibi with design doll. This is the regular design doll that I downloaded straight from their website. It's nothing special at all. Right here, this little magnifying glass, it adjusts the length and the thickness of individual body parts or the size of the model as a whole. So when you click that, um, it brings up what I like to call the skeleton of the doll. And um, you get these little tiny elongated triangles that are on uh, like all the main parts pretty much. You have the spine, the hips, the shoulders, the neck, the head, the arms, the legs, the hands, and the feet. So what we're going to be doing to achieve that uh, proportion is we're going to be playing with these little triangles. I'm going to refer to them as bones. So, um, I like to start with the legs on my dolls, and then I work to the body, then the arms, then the head. You can do it however you want. Basically, what applies to a legs is going to apply to everything else. So, the first step to changing the proportions of a doll are clicking on the bone that you want to change. You see how I clicked on the arrow and it changes where the position of the legs are on the body? You don't want that. You want to click on the little box. That changes the length of the bone. So I'm going to say that's pretty good. And then we're going to move down to um, this bone right here. And once again, we're going to click on the little box. This is totally up to you. It really depends how you want yours to look. I'm just going to make one that I think looks good, okay? So to me, this is good so far for what I see in my head. So I'm gonna go onto the feet. The feet should be smaller than this, I think. So we click on the foot and then we click on the box and the, the feet will shrink and grow depending on which way we move our mouse, if you can see me doing that. So we're gonna make the feet a little bit smaller And um, the thighs are going to get a little bit smaller. So I'm change. I'm grabbing with left click on the red box. I'm grabbing the little box and dragging it to the left or to the right, depending on how I want it. We're going to... Uh, the body needs to be shorter, a lot shorter, because uh, chibis are mostly legs and head. They're kind of just a little body, little arms thick legs, thick head. So that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to click on the bottom part of the spine, this one right here, right above the hips. And we're going to click on the blue square and pull that down. See? All right, now we're going to do that for the one in the middle. Grab the blue square and pull it down. And then we're going to do the one in the chest. It's the f If you're going from bottom to top, from the hips to the shoulders, it's the top spine bone. You grab the blue box and pull it down. Okay, so now he's kind of looking a little janky. But we're getting closer. What we're going to do to make this body look a little bit nicer is we're going to click on the very bottom bone in the spine and we're going to left click on the red box and we're going to move it I'm moving it to the right okay so we're going to slowly start bringing in the uh, waist now click on the hips and bring that in a little bit um, mine is starting to look a little weird, so I'm going to click on the thighs and um, bring the thighs in with the arrow, not the box. We're angling the thighs in. Okay, it's like I said in the very beginning, it's nowhere near perfect. Um, this is just to show you how to do it because I know that you were struggling and uh, Hopefully this will convey to you the 
bare minimum of how to do it. So um, I'm going to uh, change the legs a little bit really quick because I don't like them. So we're going to click on the um, blue square and drag it up. And then we're going to click on the other section of the arm, blue square, and drag it up. Uh, we're going to change the hands, make them a little bit smaller. Alright, um, moving on to the shoulders, we're going to click on the blue square and bring them in just a little bit so that we're, we're trying to achieve, in my mind, we're trying to achieve like a really tall trapezoid shape. Um, okay, so this so far is pretty good, I think. Um, we're going to uh, change the neck now. We're going to make the neck a little bit smaller with the white cube. And then I'm going to go in with the red cube and change its thickness. And the green cube and change its thickness. This is all with the um, left click. And then, in my opinion, because the head is going to be so big, I'm going to click on the blue cube and make the neck longer so that it looks like the neck is there when the head is as big as it is. So this is where uh, the most defining feature of a chibi comes in, I believe. The head. <laughs> and then if we get rid of the skeleton, we're left with that. Okay, so here is um, my finished pose. Uh, she's kind of just floating. I'm imagining maybe she's like a little imp or a fairy, kind of like Midna. She kind of looks like Midna, you know, like her little shape. Uh, something important that I think you should note when you are posing a doll is remember that this is your virtual space. You don't need to have your doll right on the ground of the uh, area, I guess. You don't need your doll to be exactly straight with um, like the floor and you don't need your doll to do anything your doll doesn't need to do, you know? This is for a learning. This is a learning tool. Um, use this. If you wanted to, you could take this pose and totally flip her on her side so that she's laying down, you know? Uh, remember that. Remember that this is for you to use in whatever way you want. And just because she's floating and she's not, she has her feet perfectly flat on the ground doesn't mean that it's a bad pose, okay? Um, I know that you were having a really hard time with making your dolls the way you wanted them. And I feel like that's something that will really help you 
make poses that you're satisfied with when you uh, get rid of the idea that if your doll isn't in a realistic pose, it's not a good doll. It's a doll, it's a drawing. That's the end, you know, that's end of sentence. That's all it, that it is, okay? So I hope that this helped you. Um, I hope that this is the kind of chibi you were looking for. Let me know if um, I can uh, do anything else to help you. If you want me to make you another video on anything, I will. Uh, that goes for everybody else in the Discord. Um, feel free if you would like to know how to use this program a little bit better. I'm not perfect at it, but I feel like uh, I've done a lot of reading. I've done a lot of trial and error. I've tried a lot of things with it. I use it for basically every drawing now because it's so helpful. So um, if you liked what you saw, then let me know, okay? See ya!